students welcome you all on the behalf of rahul anand tutorials so as you know that i am rahul anand and this is somewhat and on my channel whose name is actually the rahul anand tutorial so now let's begin with the very interesting topic which are often living as in terms of your need of in the aims so these are literally belonging from which of the chapters of your book so these are belonging from the dyson and absorption so now let's understand what are actually the dyson so now let's understand about the dyson so dyson is the process in which what happens the complex food <coughs> is broken down as well as converted into what is being converted into the simple absorbable substances so dyson is what dyson is the process in which the complex food is literally being broken down into the simpler ones as well as into the simple absorbable substances <coughs> so fine so you know about the complex food what are actually these so the literally organic as well as the inorganic food substances which are literally being present in terms of what in terms of our natural habitat so these are known as what so these are known as the here mean the complex food as well as when we are talking about the simpler food particles or other the ingredient chemicals so it will be what so it will be nothing else but it will be the carbohydrate the fat as well as the proteins it is so literally we will be understanding about these only now so let's start so you understood about the complex food means what it will be having the ingredient but in what quantity in the <coughs> appropriate ratio often in terms of the feed and form and literally due to the several course literally from our dyes we will get what we will get the essential components such as the bio chemicals it is so these are actually what so these are the minerals vitamins so now when we talk about these in the dyes we will have to understand what so our complex food are actually having these bio chemicals so these are actually what fine so we are having the minerals then then the vitamin then what then the fat then so minerals vitamins fat then what then the protein carbohydrate it is so now let's understand about the minerals so you are very clear about these so what are actually these so these are literally present in terms of the two components such as the micro minerals often the micro minerals fine so these example will be what the nitrogen the phosphorus the sulfur the boron as well as the molybdenum etc so these are literally being present in terms of what in terms of our plants body of course but in terms of our human being we will be often having these essential components role in terms of what in terms of the course of the life supporting mechanism so these minerals will be nothing else but that only I mean the what means the nitrogen the phosphorus then the sulfur the molybdenum <coughs> often the copper zinc it is so these literally play important calcium so this calcium fine so these will play important role in terms of what so these will play important role in terms to provide the life supporting mechanism so you know that our bones which is often known as the osteocytes so these are having what the composition of the calcium playing an important role in terms of what play an important role to strengthen down our what the bones so our bones is often being composed of the calcium carbonate adc <clears throat> so you have understood about the minerals so now after that what after that the vitamin vitamins role will be what so <clears throat> these often play an important role such as we are having the different types of the deficiency so these vitamins should be present in what ratio in the appropriate ratio either neither in the ascending order as well as neither in particularly defending or either in the deficiency amount means what means our vitamin so you could understand that we are having the vitamin a literally directly proportional for what to strength our immune power literally we particularly get it from where our cell line means the vitamin a after that you are having what things so you are having the vitamin k playing important role in terms of the what playing important role in terms for the coagulation property so you know about the coagulation of blood so suppose that we are having the minor injuries in terms of our hand or either the case of the amputee so amputee is what particularly the cell injury or the tissue with the histological histology part injury so this will be coming under what so this will be coming under from the amputee case so these are literally playing important role as well as the problem are being resolved by what things our vitamin k these are the example of nothing else but our vitamin after that you are having the fat so you know about the fat role of course <clears throat> after that the next process is what after that the next here 
mean the protein. So now let's understand about this mean what are actually the protein. So protein are what? Protein are the larger molecules of amino acid, particularly attached to one another by the help of the polypeptide chain. <clears throat> so proteins are what? Proteins are the larger molecule of amino acid. So you know about the amino acid. Nothing to explain you about that. So our protein is often being further being divided into the two broad categories. So these are what? So these are the fibrous protein, the globular protein. Fibrous protein example, the nails as well as the keratin protein in terms of our hair, CTC. Then, then we are often having the globular protein. Best example, pepsin as well as the renin ATC. In the last, you are having what? The carbohydrate CHO, find here. So what are actually the carbohydrate means CHO? So these are the what? Can you tell me? So these are actually the poly, optically active polyhydroxy aldehyde as well as what? The polyhydroxy ketone. So right in your copy, very important. So these are what means your carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are the optically active polyhydroxy aldehyde as well as the polyhydroxy ketone. Now, so your carbohydrates are often being further divided in terms of your three broad categories. So these are what? So these are the monosaccharide. Then, then the polysaccharide. Then what? Then the oligosaccharide. So what are actually these? Monosaccharide is directly proportional. For what? So, <clears throat> when the complex food or either the sugar is not being broken down into what? Into the simpler ones, it will be coming under what? So it will be coming under the monosaccharide, part of carbohydrate. Then, then the polysaccharide. polysaccharide. So what are actually polysaccharide? So your carbohydrate which can be broken down into 2 to 10 units of monosaccharide or either the simpler sugar coming under what? So it will be coming under the polysaccharide. Then, the final oligosaccharide. So you know about the oligo means what? The case of quite with the infinite means what? The carbohydrate or either the monosaccharide, <coughs> the simpler sugar actually, as well as what? As well as the monosaccharide, which could be broken down into what? Into more than 10 units. It will be coming under what? So it will be coming under the oligosaccharide. So here, carbohydrate. So now, so now let's understand about the different parts involved in terms of your human digestive system here. So these are actually what? So these are the ingestion. <clears throat> so finally, ingestion. Then what? Then the digestion. Then what? The absorption. Then, then here. The assimilation. Then what? Then the ejection. So what are actually these process literally playing an important role? So let's understand about these in the detail. So now, <clears throat> when I'm telling you about the ingestion, what do you understand? Means something is particularly coming under into what? Into our oral cavity or either into the mouth. So mouth is what? The primary entering point from our from what our what? The complex food are literally being entered in terms of our <clears throat> mouth only. So these are what? So this could be called as the beginning point from our from which our the digestive courses are literally being initiated. Means what? Meaning the ingestion. Then what? Then the digestion. So you know about the digestion? What are digestion? The process in which the complex food will be broken down into simpler ones. Known as what? The course of the digestion. So you are having the different types of the chemical components in terms of what? In terms of your stomach. Literally. Often your stomach is resembling somewhat the structure of what? So these are resembling the structure of J7. Now, so these are having what, what types of the chemical CTC? Can you tell me? So these are what? So these are the hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid, then what? <clears throat> then the pepsin, then, then the renin, then, then the lipids. Playing an important role, very important. Listen it very carefully. So pepsin, <clears throat> so pepsin is particularly present in terms of your stomach rays in the inactivated form. Then what happens? Then it is being converted. What? The pepsin is being converted into a, into the pepsinogen, fine, as well as playing important role for what? Activation of the hydrochloric acid. So you know about the hydrochloric acid as well as its role it is in terms of our digestion. In the second, you are having what? <clears throat> then we are having the lipids as well as the renin. So lipids role is what? Playing important role to break down these with the fat here. So this is somewhat your fat as well as. The renin playing an important role for the breakdown of these only, Mr. Fat. Five. In the third, you are having what? 
So in the third you are having the renin role. So the role of the renin play important role of the coagulation of the milk ATC. <coughs> Fine. So these are actually coming under from what? In the course of the dilution where you are having these type of the chemicals such as the pepsin. The pepsin role play important role to active the hydrochloric acid. Then what? Then the renin as well as the lipase ATC. Now, so after that you are having what? Find here, the absorption. So absorption role will be what? So the absorption will occur when? When the food will enter from the what? The duodenum to ilum. So now let's understand with reference to our structure. With the ilum, duodenum as well as the ilum here. The duodenum as well as the ilum. So these are often playing important role. In terms of understand with reference to these, mean what are actually the ilum as well as the duodenum. So you have understood about the adsorption. What are the role? So when our food will be descending down with reference from what? With reference from the duodenum towards the ilum region. Will be coming under from what? Will be coming under from the adsorption case here. Find here in the diagram. The ilum as well as the duodenum. Fine. Then, then what you are actually having? So we have deal about this. Mean the injection, then the dilution, then the absorption. Now here, mean the assimilation. So what are actually these? Mean the assimilation. Can you tell me? So here, <coughs> your blood will play an important role to carry what? To carry the amount of the food ingredients. Remember? So these ingredients are now present in what form? It will be present in the simpler forms. Means what? It will be present in the carbohydrate as well as the minerals, so the nitrogen, of what the calcium, ADC, as well as what the fats, as well as these mean the carbohydrates. Remember the oligosaccharide, the polysaccharide, the, such as the fructose, the lactose, ADC. So these will be present where actually. <clears throat> so these will be present in terms of your blood as well as transported. Present in terms of your blood as well as transported where transported to each and every part of your body into the required area just like that what the respiration course fine now so these will be coming under from your assimilation case as well as will be transported to what so these will be actually transported where so these will be transported in terms of the each and every required area of our body then then into each and every part of the cell so you know about the cell the building block of life as well as <clears throat> this will be stored with so it will be stored in the mitochondria and mitochondria is what? So mitochondria is actually the powerhouse of cell. In the form of what the energy will be stored, can you tell me? So this will be stored in terms of the ATP, adenotriphosphate. Fine. So what? Means our energy. Here. So assimilation. So I thought you have understood what are actually the assimilation. Now, let's understand with reference to the ejection. So what are actually the ejection? By the name itself, it is very clear that something will be particularly exit. So here, <clears throat> what things will actually exit from our body? It will be the undigested food as well as the undigested waste particles which are literally toxic in nature, destroying our body. So these should be excreted in terms from our body. Fine. So our cell is often having these phenomena. Means what? Means the role of the ejection <clears throat> here. By what mode? The osmosis as well as the what? By osmosis as well as the diffusion. What are osmosis? The removal of the waste particle <coughs> or either the ingredient from what side? From the higher concentration side towards the lower concentration side. Remember osmosis case. Then what? Then we are having the diffusion. In the case of the diffusion, the particularly case will be opposite. As well as what are the main difference between the osmosis as well as the diffusion. In the osmosis you will be not having what? The semi-permeable membrane. But in case of the what? In case of the diffusion we are having the semi-permeable membrane. Understood? Here. So ejection. So in the case of your ejection. The solid waste as well as the liquid waste as well as what? The undigested food particles or either the waste particles should be excreted out of the what? Out of, out of our actually body in terms to maintain what in terms to maintain the healthy status as well as charge our immune system so now let's understand about these means what are actually the digestive system so these are often being divided into the two broad categories so these are actually what so these are what 
So these are the elementary canal as well as the associated glands. Fine. Now, so let's try to understand about these mean the elementary canal. So these will be actually having how much type as well as long in term of its structure. So these will be actually of the 9 cm in length. Find here. Now, so this part will be what? The mouth, then the buccal cavity, then the oesophagus, then the gist of the structure means what? The stomach, then, then the smaller intestine, then the larger intestine. Now, let's understand about this in the detail. When what are actually the mouth? So, no need to explain you about the mouth. Let's proceed with the buccal cavity. So, your buccal cavity is often being having the certain types of the parts in it. So, what are actually these? So, these will be having the teeth, then, then the tongue, then the what? Teeth, tongue, then often the saliva. Fine. Now, so when I am telling you about the teeth, what are actually these? So, these <coughs> will be often having the two types of the arrangement, such as the microbiome as well as the thycobiont. Fine. So, thycobiont are what? The arrangement of the teeth in terms of what? In terms of the jaws. So, we are having the jaws in terms of our upper jaws as well as the lower jaws. So, these <coughs> will be coming under what? So, they will be coming under the thycobiont. Means what? The arrangement of teeth in terms of our jaws, such as in terms of our upper jaw as well as the lower jaws. Coming in the what? The thycobiont. On the other hand, we are having the microbiont. So, what are actually the microbiont? Can you tell me? So, microbiont are what? <coughs> so, microbiont is the particularly two phases as well as the stage with reference to our teeth like spread. Such as we are having what are things? So, we are having the milk teeth as well as the permanent teeth. So, these are the two broad stages in terms of our, in terms of your microbiont stage as well as the microbiont as well as the thycobionts you have understood as well as the microbiont you have often understood. Now, so let's understand what are actually the teeth. So, playing important role for breaking down of your what? Breaking down of your complex food often being divided into what? So, it is often being divided into the incisor, canine, then what? The molar as well as the premolar. Fine. So, molar, premolar, then incisor as well as the canine. Then in the second, you are having what? In the second, we are having the saliva gland. So, these are particularly having what things? So, these are particularly being secreted by the help of the saliva enzymes. So, what are actually the enzymes? Play important role to increase or decrease the rate of reaction without being altered overall reaction. And you know about the role of the tongue, playing important role in terms to coordinate with the mixing of the different substances. You know about the saliva as well as the complex food. Literally play important role to transport the what? The complex food as well as mixing of the saliva with that in terms to make what? The complex food quite complex food quite a bit soft. Then what? Then quite a bit moisture as well as in terms of the fluid as well as soft. Play important role in terms by which the food ingredient could be passed out from what? For, could be passed out from our food pipe. Now, so let's understand what are actually the food pipe. What? The oesophagus. Find it. The oesophagus. <clears throat> so what is the role of this in the oesophagus? Play an important role to descend the food ingredient from what? From the upper portion. Mean from the thorsus cavity towards the abdominal cavity. So you know what the thorsus cavity? As well as the abdominal cavity. Now, after that you are having what? The stomach. So you know what the role of the stomach? The station where the Maximum digestion will actually occur. So, here you will be having what are things? The pepsin, the renin, as well as the hydrochloric acid. So, pepsin will be present in the inactivated stage, as well as by the help of the HCL. This will be transformed. Means what? <clears throat> Your pepsin will be converted into the pepsinogen by the mechanism it will have in order for the activation of what? The HCL. Then what? Then the Lipase as well as the renin. Lipase role, the breakdown of the fat, then the renin. Play important role in terms of the coagulation of the milk. Fine. <clears throat> then you are having here, mean the smaller intestine. So smaller intestine are actually what? So these are quite a bit thick. Fine. As well as what? As well as larger as compared with reference to the larger intestine. 
So larger intestine is of course having the name of the larger, but it is intestine are not quite big larger as compared to the smaller intestine. The larger one will be what? It will be the smaller intestine. Often your smaller intestine will be quite. So suppose that we are having the carnivores, perfect. The omnivores. So now let's understand about the smaller intestine. So smaller intestine will be quite thicker. From what? From actually the larger intestine. So your larger intestine is of course having the name of the larger, but these are quite a bit what? Smaller as compared to the smaller intestine. Fine. Only the name is only the larger intestine. So you could understand these are quite a bit reciprocal. Nothing to confuse about that. Fine. No. Now, so your smaller intestine will often be having what? So your smaller intestine will often be having the larger shape as well as highly thickened. When we are comparing the structure, means in term of the length, so it will be what? So it will be depending upon the amount of the food intake as well as what? Amount of the behavior of the food shape of the organism. So we are having the carnivores, often the omnivores, often the herbivores. It is literally. So these will be belonging as well as depending upon in term of what? In term of the amount of the food intake. Fine. So you could find it. So the amount of the food intake as well as the habitat of the food. So habitat of food, nothing means another means it will be only the carnivores as well as the omnivores. Now, so let's understand about the larger intestine here. So larger intestine. So larger intestine are known as what? So larger intestine is known as the end point of what? End point of the digestive system. Of a <coughs> here, meaning term of your larger intestine. Here, no any kind of the digestion will occur. Why? Because these are particularly the arrangement by which your particularly waste substances of the undigested food literally descend from the each and each cell as well as exit with reference to our body. So, here, meaning the larger intestine, no digestion will occur. Only what will occur? Only the absorption will occur. And what are actually the absorption? So, absorption, <coughs> so absorption is what? So, when the food ingredient will literally transport from the tutorial to either, it will be coming under the larger intestine in terms of the absorption case, which are actually the part of what? The part of the larger intestine. Find here. <coughs> so, here the maximum digestion will occur in terms of what? In terms of your larger intestine. So, your often larger intestine, which is actually what? The final end point of the digestive system is often being divided into the Three broad categories. So these are actually one. So these are actually the caesium, then the colon, <coughs> then the rectum. Find here. Caesium, colon, as well as the rectum. So fine. So now let's understand what are actually the disorders of the digestion. So what will be actually this? So this will be the jaundice, then the diarrhea, then the constipation, then you will be often having the swine flu. Now, primarily, when I am telling you about the jaundice, so what are actually these? So these are known as the pilia symptoms. <clears throat> In which what happens? The overall secretion of the bile pigment literally become larger. As well as what will happen? The secretion, as well as due to the overall hyper secretion of the bile pigment. Your nails, open the amount of your hair, mean the eyelids, will actually resemble the color of pink in nature. So these are actually the symptoms of the jaundice. So these could be particularly coming under what? The symptoms of the disorders of the here with the digestive system. After that you are having what? The constipation. What are actually the constipation? Means your stool or either the <coughs> excreted waste will particularly become unhydrated in nature. Literally you will be having the pain like symptoms to pass over your stool or either the excreted product. So we are often having the many types of the medical equipment, such as what? Such as the anima jar, playing an important role to transmit the stool, which are particularly unhydrated in nature. So these are coming under from what are the case? From the constipation. Then what? Then you are having the diarrhea. So diarrhea role as well as in term of what? So this is just opposite to the constipation. In this case, the flow, the fluoration of the urine as well as the excreted products will be higher. So these will be quite a bit <coughs> hyper hydrated in nature. So you could understand that the constipation is inversely proportional to what? The diarrhea symptom. 
So you use the several types of the antibiotics. In terms of the diarrhea, what are actually these? So these are the azithromycin. So uh, these are what? So these are actually the antibiotics given from in the case of the diarrhea. And diarrhea is what? The disorder of yeah, mean the digestive system. And in final, you will be often having the stomach flu like symptoms. So this is somewhat a condition literally which are originating as well as coming in from your digestion case means what the digestion and absorption case in which we have dealt about what are actually the digestion often what are the essential biomolecules coming under these such as what such as these minerals vitamins as well as the fats often the here with the carbohydrate etc often we have understood about what are the steps involved in terms of your digestion such as what such as the ingestion as well as the digestion absorption the assimil assimilation then what then the ejection as well as often we have understood about the role in terms of what are the <coughs> vital organs coming under in terms from your buccal cavity such as the teeth open what are the thycobite the microbiome then what then we have often understood about the saliva literally coming under from the saliva gland then what then the tongue stool often about the oesophagus etc quite a bit demonstration with reference to your smaller intestine as well as the larger intestine often the disorders of the here in the digestive system it is so i thought we have got the concept what are actually these mean the digestive <coughs> system literally coming under from the chapters of your book which are actually the digestion and absorption so if you like the work with reference to the education of in the lectures as well as the videos so you could often subscribe like as well as comment below in the text thus i will be knowing that what concept actually you are hungry for or what haven't you understood or either got so very thank you with reference to what with reference to the now learner tutorials very very thank you